and the falafel is sort of squished so that all of the insides and the crunchy bits all get uh, mixed into that bread. That is wonderful. Good morning, everyone. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Amman, Jordan. We arrived early this morning at about 5 a.m. from Bangkok and then came straight to the hotel, ate breakfast, and then took a nap. I just woke up. It's still kind of drizzly today and overcast, and it keeps drizzling every now and then. We just drove for about 15 minutes and we are going to a restaurant called Al Quds, which is famous in downtown Amman for serving falafel. Oh. Jordan is known for having some of the best falafel in the Middle East. And so this place only serves falafel sandwiches and you can choose your size of bread. I got, I'm not sure what size it is, but it is a bun and then they're going to fill the falafels inside of the bun with all the different toppings and ingredients and serve it as a sandwich. And this is a popular little spot. It's just uh, only a takeaway. Oh yeah. This is, this is your first glimpse of Jordanian hospitality. Oh, okay. Yeah. They saw you're doing this and this is... Oh, so they gave us some yes. falafel not in the, so, yes. the bun. For you wow. to, to try. Thank you. Right as I was saying that they don't serve falafel on its own, they gave me some to sample on their own. And so this is like the special falafel treatment here. A combination of ground chickpeas and some spices, then deep fried into these little patties. And I think that is tahini. Is that tahini on top? Yes. They look like miniature little cupcakes. They're like flat on the bottom and kind of rounded on the top. Oh, that's incredible. That blend of spices and the turmeric in there, and there's like an herb flavor to it. And then it's really crispy. Kind of like dry, but fluffy and moist all at the same time on the inside. That's delicious. Oh, that's really, really good. Huh? He is so fast with the falafel mixture and he puts it into a little mold and then straight into the oil and you can just smell the aroma coming off that oil. It's incredible. We got our sandwiches now for our main course and it is in a sesame bun. You can see it's just loaded. The bun is just loaded with sesame seeds and the falafel is sort of squished so that all of the insides and the crunchy bits all get uh, mixed into that bread. There are tomatoes in here, there are pickles, there are cucumbers, and then that sauce, I believe, is tahini, which is a sesame paste. And I'm not sure what else there is. Oh yeah, I did get it spicy, so you can see a little bit of a ch like chili. Oh yeah, there's some chili powder in there as well. Wow, that's beautiful. I'm gonna try to take as big of a bite as possible to get everything in one bite. What I really love oh. about this sandwich, just from my first bite, is there are so many different crispy dimensions of texture. The bread is crisp in a baked kind of way, and then the falafel is crispy in the deep fried kind of way. I think that tahini is also really good, making it nice and moist. And then the addition of the pickles, the tomato is juicy. That is wonderful. And even those sesame seeds are really, really good as well. Those crispy, it tastes like crispy roasted sesame seeds on the bun. The falafel was incredible. We are now walking down Rainbow Street. I think we're gonna go try some Arabic ice cream next. Yes, I think we're going to a place called Gerard, Gerard ice cream. 
local I uh, ice cream place. You can see that they have different flavors. Um, also, all the new, um, very um, popular flavors all over the world, like the chocolate bar flavors, Nutella, Snickers, Kinder, you name it. But traditional ice cream uh, is that one over there. It's called Arabic ice cream. I got a scoop of the Arabic ice cream in a cone, and it comes there. Pistachios in here, and the main flavoring is from Arabic gum which is a sap from a tree. Mm. Oh, what I really love are those little pieces of pistachios. Little creamy pistachios. And then the flavor, it's kind of like a cross between vanilla with a little hint of caramel. We're just arriving to a place called Wild Jordan, which is a kind of a conservation restaurant and cafe. On the entrance floor of this place, it is, there's a handicraft store where they sell a lot of um, handicrafts and art from around Jordan. And this cafe also has a really nice view of the city. And you can see on the opposite hill across from this cafe, there is the Citadel, which I think we will visit tomorrow. But we're just gonna sit here for a little while, relax, and I just ordered up a tea. That is a giant tea bag. Another name for this tea is called Malise. Oh yeah, that is a very relaxing tea. Um, I don't know what is all going on in there, but there are definitely a lot of herbs. We drove to an area of Amman called Abdun, which is, uh, Fadi calls it the Beverly Hills of Amman, so it's a very high-end area. And we have stopped at a place called The Delights Shop to try some different dates. Everything they have here are dates, but then they are covered in a variety of different chocolates and a variety of different toppings. And this one they have given me to try, which is mint with dark chocolate, and there's a date on the inside of this. Wow, that is really rich and sweet. It's just pasty on the inside and then covered in a dark chocolate and then with a just a hint of a mint flavor at the end. And they gave us a little to-go pack of chocolate covered dates as well. Just a very short ride from where we ate the dates. We have come to a restaurant, a local restaurant called Al Osra, and this is a restaurant that serves just good and traditional food. We ordered just a, a, a full table of different food. The colors and the different dishes are incredibly beautiful. There's one of the dishes, I don't think I've ever had it before, is called fete, and it is, it's, it's kind of a dip paste in texture, but there's actually bread inside of it. Bread mixed with hummus, and then I think these are pine nuts? Yes. Pine nuts on top. And to eat all this food, I have a stack of bread, but the actual fete, because there's bread already included in it, you don't need to eat it with bread, you eat it more like a, almost like a pudding with a spoon. Wow, hummus is is usually more more like heavy and filling, but with the addition of that bread, that kind of soaked bread inside of the hummus, it's it's more light and fluffy. It's like a light and fluffy hummus. It tastes kind of like whipped hummus, and I'm gonna try this um, the liver, chicken liver. 
it's a good idea to add different things together. So a little bit of hummus on top of this. Oh, that looks delicious. And all of that olive oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of chili sauce to finish off this bite. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful bite. Mm -hmm. That liver is so creamy and like soft in texture that it actually blends into the texture of the hummus. You can taste the, the kind of irony richness of that liver, which is really good. And then just that little bit of chili sauce just completely completes that single bite. Falafel. Uh-huh. Take a piece of the falafel. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go to the hummus. And then dip. Oh, one more thing. And then the chili. Oh, yeah. That's a good bite. That is a good idea. <laughs> Try it. Fadi has recommended a combination that includes the bread and then with a with a falafel in the middle. Add some some hummus. Some hummus in there. And then the final addition is some of that chili sauce. Alright. Okay, this is a pickled cucumber and carrot. Mm. Wow, that carrot is really, really crisp. And then a little bit sour and mostly salty. And this one is the fool, which is uh, mashed up fava beans. Really, really good. And it has a little bit of a, I think there's some lemon juice on there. You can taste the, like a lemon fresh taste to it. <laughs> a little bit spicy, but really good flavor. To end the meal, there are some slices of fresh lemon, which is common to use at the end of the meal just to kind of clean your mouth. I haven't eaten it yet, but Ying tried one and said it is extremely sour, so I am anticipating some serious sourness coming out of this lemon. Yeah. Oh wow. It like builds with, with sourness. Oh wow. I can immediately feel my tongue tingling. It's like a shock to the mouth. Mm. Okay, I think one piece is good enough. For our final stop this evening, we've come to a place called Temriyat Omar. And this is just a little closet-sized shop, but it's really, really well known. And this place has been here for 44 years. What they are most famous for serving here is called a Temriyat. And it is a sweet, and what he does is he takes a piece of dough and he makes it into a huge, very thin sheet and then adds in a a slice of a, I think it's a seminola cake, which he adds in the middle and then presses it down into a patty shape. And then he puts that straight into the hot oil and then it deep fries until the a golden crisp. And then once it's done cooking, then it's transferred for to drain. And then I think it's dusted with some powdered sugar. That's right out of the oil. It is like burning my palm right now. And so this is it. It's in a, like a patty shape. I'm gonna test it. Oh, wow, that is really hot and fresh and crispy. We just made it back to the hotel. Thinking about going to bed pretty soon. It's been a long day. And so I will see you all tomorrow on the next vlog. Thank you all very much for watching today's video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next video. Good morning, everyone. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Bangkok, Thailand. <laughs> Bangkok, Thailand. <laughs>